of what lays ahead. Fear of adversity, of the future, or what life is going to throw at us is temporary. It can last a day, a month, or even a year. But all fear eventually does subside. Instead, I say to get excited to get scared. Get excited for tough decisions about relationships, careers, life. Get excited to want to quit and get excited to want to fail because at these moments, we know we are working hard. At these moments of distress, we redefine ourselves and tell ourselves that yes, we can accept temporary failure, but no, we cannot accept not trying. At these times, we must choose to push forward and find solace in ourselves and those around us. I still remember a freshman acting class in which Mr. Alvin Dennis often asked us to lie down on the ground, arms by our sides, knees towards the ceiling, and to breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. All right, no one did that. <laughs> I remember being annoyed by this for a multitude of reasons. One, I really wanted to hang out with Nate, Wallace, and Killian, because they were really cool and everyone seemed to like them and they made a lot of jokes. And, and then secondly, I had mad crushes on a couple of girls in the class and I wanted to show off my monologue skills and, and maybe, you know, try a couple pickup lines, but I couldn't do that when on the ground. And despite my slight tribulations with this process of forced relaxation, I believe that this notion of slowing down and taking a few minutes to remember my day in individual moments taught me to practice gratitude. Taking the time to be grateful teaches us to appreciate all that we have. Great peers, outstanding teachers, a phenomenal education, to name just a few. But gratitude means so much more than thanks. It's the warm feeling you get when greeting a classmate by name on a walk down this quad or that of any college. It's unlocking the fullness of life's tiny moments. Gratitude can turn denial about fitting in into acceptance and comfort, chaos into order, confusion into clarity a new dorm or school environment into a home, and an acquaintance or a stranger into a friend. I'm no spiritual expert, and I'm not sure what the best way to practice gratitude is. But given my position up here on this stage, and the fact that I don't know if I'll ever get elected to another leadership position, I'm going to urge you all to do so. Lakeside Class of 2015, I speak to you today about refusing to be discouraged because I am incredibly scared of failure, and that is okay. I speak to you about happiness because being content is, in my mind, the best thing we can do for our health. Finally, I speak to you about gratitude because I am thankful. I am thankful for my insecurities. I've learned, and I've asked you all to, to join me in doing so, to harness and harbor my anxieties and timidities and utilize these to keep pushing my own limits. I ask you, my classmates, to create your own trails without worrying about what things are supposed to be. If you've decided on a path yourself, no matter how windy or thorny or dusty, the results will surely be fulfilling. It's hard to give up on being perfect but it's also amazing. Only once we've done this, can we move towards embracing ourselves and bringing out the very best in those around us. As we move forward, let's remember all the great times we had together here at Lakeside, exercising leadership and excelling in 139 unique and eventful ways. Keep your faces always towards the sunshine and let the shadows fall behind you. Thank you.